All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again. I know it's not been that long, has it? We were just here like what five hours ago, uh, but we're back again, back with satisfactory. Uh, now this is the this is the first stream that I'm going into with any sort of actual plan besides just playing the game and having fun. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna start ourselves a new game here. Um, I believe. I believe we're going to go with the Dune Desert, um, because the, uh, the, the plan here is to just, to build any way we want, essentially. We, we just go with the flow. We're not, we're not going to go create, we're not going to go crazy all out on efficiency. Well, we might be doing some efficiency things, but predominantly the building aspect is going to be entirely focused on doing it as just freeform as possible and just putting things down where they make sense and not stressing too much about how neat and organized and tidy it is um we are going to go ahead and skip the intro because i have done that intro like 65 million times um let's see here what are we gonna call it we're gonna call it Business of ferrets. <coughs> Little known fact for all of you out there, uh, that is actually the uh, collective noun for a group of ferrets. A business of ferrets. Okay, so we load in, we start with some miners and some other basic resources here. Zap. Okay, get our nuts here. Okay, we spawned pretty close to that. Let's see here. Let's scan for some iron to start off with. Got a ping there. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see here. I like to be sure and find. Uh, yeah, I like to be. I like to try and find pure nodes to start off my production with. Because, yikes. It appears just really... Oh, excuse me. <sighs> Impure is just really, really unpleasant to work with. You can only supply one... Uh, one smelter off of an impure. Those ping separately this time. There we go. Alright. Pick up these nuts too. There we go. Another deposit. Oh, we got friendo. We got a friendo. Yeah, yeah, come and get us. And get us. Got him. I've got a, a thing on enabled right now that's uh, experimental. It's uh, it's directional subtitles. Uh, it's supposed to indicate something that you're hearing and the direction it's coming from. Okay, so we got two normal nodes here. Oh, another friend out. Got him, got him, got him. <coughs> Figured it'd be useful for uh, trying to identify when you hear that growl, identify where it's coming from.
gonna be picking up as much of this stuff as we can, because it's if we go too much further in, it's gonna be scarce. Oh, we got a gas cloud over there. Oh, what's this? Iron ore pure. Hey, nice. Okay. What happens if we search from copper from here? Got 227, 438, and 700. Check out that 200 meter one. If we're lucky, it is also pure. And we can go ahead and set up a, a base directly in between them. I like to do a lot a lot more prep work early on just to make sure I get the a good place to a good place to be overall before I commit oh, excuse me oh, it's early for me which is crazy because you know I'm usually up at 6:30 in the morning on the weekdays. Gonna need them for our early power setups. Oh, we got some iron over here. Some more quartz. Impure. Pure. Knocking over empty cans of soda from past streams. Um, fascinating. Would not have expected that. Oh, hello. Flipping through the rock face and seeing through the world. Uh, I can get out of this, right? Okay, good, 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 good. I was worried there for a second. tired for some reason wouldn't have anything to do with the fact I was up with y'all until like 1 in the morning last night 1.30 in the morning I don't know my 
channel says it was seven hours ago, but I'm pretty sure that's when it started. So. a little oasis. What are the chances that we've got some rich resources in here? Oh, that's a flame blade. Um, flame faces are always the worst, in my opinion. got a limestone deposit here. That's normal. An iron deposit. Oh no, that's copper. That's copper. Uh, I think it's pointing to this deposit. note over here, is there? This one's also normal, so two normal iron, or copper nodes. A normal limestone node over there. Ew. Doesn't look very hopeful on the iron front. Same two iron deposits that I saw before. This one's impure, right? Yeah, and the other one is pure? Yeah, okay, that would actually work. Probably just ignore the, the impure one, but... Yeah, yeah, that could work. Could put the hub down. Somewhere up here ish. Hmm. I'd like to put it up there, but I can't get up there. I'm gonna put it there for now. Yeah, there's our fix it freighter. Hell yeah, boy. Go ahead and stick our biofuel and the shit we can't use yet in there. Oh, nope, give me those back. Select our first milestone, which is obs gonna be well. Actually, it's this is never really very obs, honestly. Yeah, 
I'm thinking field research. I'm thinking field research. Gonna get that rolling. And we're gonna go ahead and grab these back. And just real quick here, we're gonna make ourselves some biomass. Just super quick. Hmm. Okay, that's got that. Oh, wrong end. Okay, they're all loaded up, ready to rip. In the meantime, we're going to collect more bio stuff to turn into biomass. Excuse me. Just drinking a soda here, hoping it'll kind of wake me up. It is Sprite, it doesn't have any caffeine in it, but, you know. Sometimes the bubblies help. And there's the sugar, which can give you a bit of a jolt of energy. Not much of one, though. That's, the sugar rushes are uh, predominantly a myth. And it's... it's uh, They're entirely supported by the, uh, the nocebo effect. Uh, which is related to the placebo effect. Um, but the placebo is specifically for beneficial... Um, my understanding in any rate is that it's specifically for beneficial effects arising from a, just a psychosomatic um, reaction to some sort of form of treatment. The nocebo effect is the opposite. It is a detrimental effect. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, very very much linked to the cause of why some people experience illness when exposed to things like Wi-Fi signals or 5G signals and whatnot is because they believe they will get sick when exposed to those, so they do. Um, and the thing is, is like it's not a it's it's not a fake thing. The symptoms are 100% real your body is actually experiencing those symptoms. Um, but it's not, uh, it's just, it's just the reason for those symptoms is not true. It's just a, it's a side effect of the, the no, it's just a nocebo effect. Um, and it, it, they can, they can range from, you know, perfectly mild and innocent to pretty, honestly, kind of scary. Okay.
damn, dude. This thing just doesn't want to break. There it goes. We are well on our way to getting set up here. <coughs> getting a good setup going here to start ourselves off with. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be real grumpy if like the nearest coal is the coal that's like way over there. We don't want that one. We're, we're ignoring that one. That one doesn't exist. It's dead to us. It's dead to us. Alright. Can we just talk for a second about how fucking adorable the fucking portable miners are? And they get all determined. As they start grinding through the rock. Just, they're, they're adorable. nightfall coming, I think. I don't, I don't think it's been night yet, has it? I hadn't noticed. If it had. Pretty sure this is the first time the sun's set since we started. Uh, let's go ahead and make ourselves some more biomass here. We're going to need to stay very well stocked in that once we get the, uh, Once we once we start getting our factories online, we're going we're gonna to want to make sure that that stays Tip top shape. Nope, wrong direction. Okay. Honestly, I'm kind of starting to wonder if I even needed to do that. Can't pick up the leaves. There we go. Uh, send it that way. all the fucking leaves because holy shit this is a lot of leaves and it will be a good source of fuel for us until we can get into coal power honestly tbh this game is all is really honestly just about just throwing yourself forward until you can manage to get to the next most efficient power source it's, it's not about building a factory that's efficient or any of that. It's about getting the resources you need to get the most efficient power possible so that you can stop worrying about power. To make your factory that you're using to make power. It's so... I don't know. It just, it's just... It's entertaining to me. Okay, we're going to build a power pole here. things going there. We're going to put a power pole there. Power pole's going to power that. And we're going to... Put some smelt 
to go in here. And we're gonna get going up to normal, which means putting out 60 per minute, which means we can support two smelters off that. Okay, so one and two. Uh right, I don't have splitters yet. Because I haven't researched the just that. Right? position those badly anyway so we're gonna we're gonna shift tasks real quick because man splitters and mergers are just too fucking essential to the way I do shit logistics here we go milestone all right yep sounds about right To see the wizard. No, I'm, I kid. I kid. We're not off to see the wizard. We're off to see our iron deposit and do the same thing with it. Uh, in order to do that, though, we're gonna have to go ahead and grab this power line here and start taking it this way, because otherwise we're not gonna have power. Wire too long. Here we go. Like I said, we're not we're not really concerning ourselves over much with uh, with how pretty it is. I mean, it doesn't need to be pretty. It just needs to, you know, work and have a flow to it. All that good stuff. As long as it works, I'm good with it. Oh, we gotta select the recipe. I forgot to select the recipe. I almost always forget to do that with smelters. I was honestly shocked I remembered to do it with the uh, with the copper smelter. to make my 300, but we'll get there. We'll get there. It's a slow and steady process. Slow and steady wins the race. Appreciating those uh, those spammers in our in our chat. stuff in there. 
This is the one problem with uh, with, with having a setup of this sort is that it's just early on it's a real freaking drag trying to run between your various locations and get all the materials you need to get your early your early milestones and shit set up. plates short. Well, fortunately I've got some iron ore on me, so I can make some ingots. Okay, that's one part of it. Okay, so we've got about 104. I need about 104 iron rods. I'm gonna be here for a while. Ting 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 takes forever, man. Definitely gotta say these 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 early these early game just getting started stuff. Like I, I could I could do with a little bit of a like an acceleration here. Okay, that's all of our ingots. Let's turn them all into rods now. Still won't be all the rods we need. Uh, for wire, we need about 150, 164, 164. Now just make wire until my hands bleed. Right? We can do that. We can do it. Almost all my rods, but it does give me all my wire. So I'm gonna run over here. Looks like this bad boy's stopped because he's full. Yeah, we got it. Right, yeah, I gotta actually, you know, turn it into rods. Pfft. There we go, let's send it. Fuck yeah. Logistics. There we go. Merged, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. 
We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Uh. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. all my iron plates and then that uh, milestone off so I gotta make some more Oh, that's my pot. That's, that's my freighter. My freighter coming back. Yeah. Gotta love that re-entry sonic boom. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. I run. I run. I'm sure there's plenty of people who are going to be screaming at me out there for uh, not putting them on foundations or leveling them out or anything. But, you know, that's a thing that I don't care about because that's the point. That's the point of the way we're playing this. We're not trying to stress. We're trying to unstress. We're trying to, to, to make it just go all smooth. It's supposed to be smooth and enjoyable, not stressful and anxiety inducing. Okay, we got four smelters running tip-top condition. Uh, let's see here. Did that have us give me tier two conveyor belts? No, that's logistics mark two, isn't it? Yeah, because the thing is, is like, or this early on, it's really hard to take full advantage of these pure nodes because the drills mine it at 120 units per minute. Uh, but these Mark I belts only move resources at a rate of 60 per minute. So, it winds up, you wind up getting this happening. Because the moment it splits the first time, you're back down to the 60 per minute that the Mark I can handle. But then you run into the problem of it's just not feeding into this first splitter fast enough. And you can see that because you can see that it's, it's max 
maxing out and like the efficiency of it is not is the efficiency of it is not uh is not up there so we'll uh we'll get that fixed as soon as we get mark two logistics going uh, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and get some constructors going. I've only got enough reinforced iron plates for four of these puppies. Um, I'm gonna build one real quick and see what each one takes. This one needs 30 iron ingots per minute, which I believe is what each one of these puts out. Yes. So, but the iron rods only needs 15 per minute, which one of those, so that means one of those can support two of these bad boys. Okay, so if we say screws, that would mean splitting that off into two constructors, each making rods, and I believe we'd need to remerge those to make screws. At maximum efficiency. So we're gonna turn you at a right angle. That way you don't get in the way of the rest of our building. You're gonna make iron rods. Wait, no, that's not the way to do that. We're gonna make you there. 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 Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to do logistics, splitter. We're going to put the splitter again we're just gonna oh nope I'm out of cable that's okay I need to go work on my uh, copper production anyway because that desperately needs some help because right now it is in bad shape because we've been focusing on the iron because the iron is just so critical there so that we got enough to connect to shit. Uh, and then we're gonna make some more wire. Okay, now fortunately this one's going to be a lot simpler because the normal of this produces half as much as the pure, so we only need a single splitter here. Hmm. We're turning that because that is a bad position. We're gonna 
do some we're gonna do some hotkeying up here. Um, we're gonna put you on five, you on six, you on seven, and then eight and nine. sure we stay on top of our fuel. Uh, those are a little far away. We don't need them that far away. That's still a little far away, just in the other direction. I reconnect it. <laughs> Forgot about that. Got it. Got it. Gaddy. needs 15 per minute so we can supply that with two of these puppies this needs 60 wire per minute this produces 30 per minute so we need two of those to feed one okay yeah that's that's simple enough so wire cable easy peasy easy peasy lemon squeezy couldn't be simpler Okay, and we're going to do a splitter. Constructors here. This is my iron plate. My iron plate. Should have set up my iron plates first. Instead of set up my rods. Don't know why. I'm a fool. I'm a damn fool. We're making progress. Am I right? I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Let's make sure everything's going okay here. Bear with me one moment. Looks like we might have had a bit of a snafu on the stream. That's what we're seeing now. My apologies. Uh, yeah. 
sure looks like it. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Uh, so, apologies, y'all. Um, we got, we had a bit of a snafu here. Um, oh, hang on. That's, that's gonna, that's gonna suck a tude. Because we've, according to my OBS here, we've been streaming for about, uh, 52 minutes. Uh, according to Twitch, though, we've been online for all of 14 minutes, so that sucks. Um, what do we do about that? I don't know. Well, anywho, I suppose a, a quick catch-up is in order. Um, we are playing Satisfactory, obviously. Um, and we are playing it with a specific style in mind, and that style is, is directly inspired by our namesake here on, on my channel here, uh, the ferret. And if any of you have ever interacted with ferrets, you'll know what I mean when I say they really don't care. They just don't care. And that is, that is honestly something I, f I feel we should all take to heart. We should just stop caring about a lot of stuff. And in this particular case, what we are not caring about is how pretty it looks. It doesn't need to be neat and tidy and organized, no. It just needs to flow. And that's what we're doing. We're going with the flow. We're following our, our ferrety little hearts into ferret feng shui. So, um, and that is what we are doing. So currently we are, we, we started in the, uh, the dune desert, I believe is the name of the starting zone. Uh, and we scattered around a bit, and we found these iron deposits. Um, that one, we're, we're never going to speak of it again, because it's an impure deposit, and we all hate impure deposits here. That one, however, is a very nice one. It's a pure deposit. It's pure. It's very pure. Um, just like yours, truly, pure and innocent. Anywho. Uh, we also have our copper set up over here, which we were just getting started here, uh, which was when I noticed our snafu with the, uh, with the stream. Uh, yeah, it really, really sucked. Really sucked. Oh, right, that's right. In, while I was, I was in the middle of that, I was just fixing the problem that uh, we ran out of iron plates while building our factory here, so we're going to go fix that here. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, because that, that means, <sighs> like, an hour's worth of streaming turned into, like, 15 minutes of streaming, so, Ugh. I also wonder what that's going to look like on the VOD, is it just going to be a, a smash cut? <laughs> just, yeah, because I, I have no idea how much of what we were doing actually wound up in the in the stream I don't even know what the hell happened though dude like it it was weird like I just I went to check on the status of the stream and and see if like anyone was chatting in the uh, was if anyone was in the chat and nope <laughs> nobody was in the chat and the stream was down it sucked that was it was it was bad it was bad I didn't like it I didn't like it at all. So, let's see here. We need iron plates. <clears throat> That's a shame, too, because I was thinking I was probably going to capstone it here soon. And probably finish getting our copper and our basic copper and iron industries online and then call it a, call it a, a day for that. Uh, but... Yeah, I think we're going to have to go a little bit further. We're going to have to go even further beyond, as they say. Let's go even further beyond. It's from something, I swear. If it's protected IP, I'm sorry. 
Um, anywho, that's gonna be wire, and that's gonna be wire. And those both together gives me enough. Oh no, I need reinforced iron plates. Damn it, which means I need screws, which I don't have. What I do have is a whole bunch of rods over here, though. I just gotta go get them. I think I'm gonna make myself a conveyor belt highway at some point. A, a, a little conveyor belt of like the best conveyor belts I can make once I get Mark IIs. It's, it's, it's come to my attention that the Mark ones are actually so slow that they don't actually change your speed. Like there's there's no difference between you running on the conveyor belt or off of it in either direction um, because they're so slow. Um, the, uh, the Mark II isn't up, though, though. They start boosting or slowing you down, depending on which direction you're walking on them. Um, so I might have to make a... Once I get access to them, I might have to make a, uh, a little highway for myself there. Ah, it's plates that are... Oh, not enough space in inventory, huh? Let's fix that by getting rid of all this fucking copper ore that's sitting in my inventory. Oh, uh, you know, that reminds me. Good deal, good deal. We're staying... easily ahead of the curve there. Okay, that's one more constructor. Let's see if we can get enough for one more beyond that. Bounce, 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 bounce. Make it and it dance, 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 and it dance, dance, dance. I'm a kitty cat. I dance, 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 and I dance, dance, dance. Cat. I'm a kitty cat. And I'm yum, 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 yum. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't decide with my, what my brain thinks of. It's super early in the morning. I haven't had my meds yet. I'm gonna be a bit scatterbrained. I should probably do that now that I think about it. Excuse me. Still full of yawns. I don't know, depending on how long it takes, the, we might actually get enough content out of uh, finishing up our iron and our copper to make a, a decent stream. Uh, won't be as long of a stream as I wanted, but it will be something. Um, right, we're going to go... We're not going to set that up just yet. Here, and we're going to set up our iron plate manufacturing. Damn it! Why didn't I check and make sure that I had cables? I swear, I'm not this dumb. I really swear. 
I'm I'm not blonde. I'm not dumb. I'm a rather intelligent person. At least that's what I like to tell myself at any rate. <clears throat> like in D and D terms, I like to think of myself as having like a twelve or thirteen intelligence. So you know, I'm I'm not a you know mondo big brain genius wizard or anything, but you know, I'm moderately intelligent. I'm at least above average. Where it's going to start getting interesting. Oh no. That means I'm using too much power. That means I gotta build, go build another biomass burner. Well, definitely think we'll have enough content now, guys. Yep, that tripped our capacity. All right, biomass burner number three it is. Except I need wire and iron plate for that. Guess what I don't have? You know, fortunately I've got the copper ingots to make the wire. The plates are going to be an issue though, because I don't have... I don't know if I put that... I can go away. <sighs> Excuse me again. I don't remember what I did with that iron ore. I don't have much of it. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough. I'm not hopeful though. Is there any I need three for every two plates? We'll find out. figures. It just fucking figures. One. One plate short. You could say I'm grumpy. You could say I am grumpy. That is a thing you could say. Cranky even. Well, fortunately, easily fixed. We'll go ahead and make ourselves a few more because we'll need the plates in order to set up new uh, new conveyor belts and all that. gonna stick it like 90% in the rock here because you know that's the way I roll really just gets it out of the way there
Oh, I know what the uh, the next milestone we need to take on is. Obstacle clearing, because we need to be able to make that solid biofuel. And we also need a chainsaw in order to start cutting down some of these trees and getting wood, which is a better source for those that biomass than literally anything else. Once more with feeling. iron rods per minute. This puts out 15, so I only need one. But I don't need the whole one. Mm. Let's do what do. What to do? What to do? Run and hide. Chandrian. Chandrian. Across this, please don't uh, C and D me. I somehow doubt he'll have a problem though, considering the fact that, like, at most I've had five people watching. That and the fact that, you know, chances are literally all that's liable to do is make people go out and buy his books. TBH though, if you guys are looking for a good good book series to read, it's only two books right now, but the, it's supposed to be a trilogy. Um, third one's coming out at some point in the future. Vague questioning on when there. Um, but uh, it's uh, King Killer Chronicles uh, by Patrick Rothfuss. He's, uh, he's, he's, got, he, he's got some talent. You know, if you can... Okay, to be fair, I have some minor quibbles with his work. Predominantly, how he portrays women. But that's simply just because, for some unknown reason, all the women in the books are beautiful, for some reason? I don't know. That's working well. Alright. Good deal. And then we're gonna put a storage container right... Uh, well, I would put a storage container right there. Oh, you guys don't have power. Oh yeah, that would, that would, that would do that, wouldn't it? You guys probably want some power so that you guys can start making your, making your stuff. You guys would want that, wouldn't you? 
damn it. Already gonna need to put another one on. Alright. I haven't even finished setting up my copper yet either. Fortunately, I think in terms of energy consumption, the iron is done. Got it. Huzzah! Okay, the iron processing is fully operational with our screws over there, rods right there, and now both of our iron plate manufacturers are merging into one storage. Alright, copper time. Maybe we'll throw in a concrete, some co concrete production before we call it for today. I think we might do that. What do you think? What do you guys think? Make sure the stream's working all right still. Seems to be, seems to be. Doing all right, doing all right. Looking good. Hey, we're already up to 36 minutes on the session. Super curious to look to see what the VOD's gonna look like. Cause yikes, dude. Alright, so we've got this side making wires. Let's start collecting this greenery up here. Maybe we can go ahead and get ourselves a chainsaw before we uh, before we call it. You know what? Yeah, I think we'll. I think we'll. I think that's where we'll we'll wind up calling it. We'll uh, we'll get we'll get ourselves a chainsaw. That will be our milestone. Eh, no pun intended. We'll get ourselves a, a chainsaw and then we'll call it. Should be able to do that in the next hour or so, depending on how many snags I run into along the way. Okay. Damn it. Cable.
Okay, we'll call that good. Right, we need to fix that because it's going to become a problem before we go too much further. Okay, that's one side. Actually, I'm gonna take that back out. Nope, that's backward. That's backwards. That's bad backwards. Forward. Bull hook. Excuse me. Hmm. Getting distracted here. Can't have trouble focusing. Probably gonna need to call it soon. Hopefully we can still get to that uh, 
that chainsaw, but if not, we'll get it next time. It's all cool. I definitely think Satisfactory is going to be one of my one of my go-tos because, damn, this game is just so much fun. There, there, there's times when I feel like, like, yeah, yeah, I'm burned out on Satisfactory. But, uh, Excuse me. I go and play it, and I'm just like, oh, this game is so amazing. And, like, I'm just, I'm, it's, it's a whole new experience all over again. And, like, that, I feel like that's kind of because it is. Because, like, no two games are ever exactly the same way. Yeah. Like I feel like that's a that's a thing that, that a, a game like Factorio doesn't necessarily have because Factorio, yes, you've got the procedurally generated maps and literally no two maps are ever the same, but you're gonna have the same method of approaching it that you that you have every time, and you're you're gonna build things in a very similar way every single time. And you can, because the terrain is all fairly uniform, and you can build on anything. And so really the only things that get in your way are trees and cliffs, and both of those can be gotten around. This game is very, very different. Even building on, in the same location twice can be totally different both times. Simply because... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. It's simply because things don't necessarily go down the same way. <laughs> it's not like Factorio where it's, it either faces north, south, east, or west. No. You got 360 degrees of freedom of where you place things and which direction you place them in, and and there's the, the third of dimension aspect to consider, and it's like, on one build, in, like, in the same location, on one build you might embrace the verticality of your base, but on another you might not, and you're gonna just splay out, and it's gonna dramatically change the way your base looks and feels and the way you play. Um, but yeah, that's, and that's kind of what I'm going for here, is just something... Uh, excuse me, Dad. Excuse me. Oh, man. I need a coffee or something. Um, but yeah, that's a, that's essentially what I'm going for here, is I'm just, I'm looking for that... I'm looking for that just... I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't even. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know. We should get that uh, that thing rolling though. Okay, where did my fourth miner go? Oh right, I dropped. Oh right, it's <laughs> it's been on the limestone this entire time. God damn. That's how little I've needed the limestone is this entire time. I haven't even gone and picked this up once. God damn it. Normal, it'll put out 60 per minute. How much? How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? That's why he chuck all the wood a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Let's see here. Stream is still go doing good. Still doing good. Awesome. Awesome. A sixty nine views. Oh, right. 
right, I was gonna toss these in there, because we got plenty of those. Uh, I should go check my screws, see where we're at with those, and then I was gonna do this. Because I need more constructors. I need more constructors. I need more constructors. More constructors. Okay. Forty five per minute. Well, shit. So, I'm gonna have more than I need for one, but not enough for two. That sucks. Excuse me. I know, very unladylike. But I don't give a fuck. Fuck yeah. Got he. All right. While that starts chugging away and making us some concrete, we're going to go take a look at our screw production. See if we've got enough screws to, to pop this, this milestone off. Efficiency, huh? Let me get in such a little. Oh, I know why this is happening. It's cause of that. I need to get those upgraded. Funny thing is, is these guys are saturated. Oh, well, that guy's saturated. Oh, that guy's saturated because he's not doing anything. Screws. I don't have screws to do that. I totally forgot that we had this whole smelter that we weren't doing anything with. Uh, what do you guys think we should do with that? Because we've got we've got rods making, we've got screws making, and we've got plenty of iron plates making, at least for now. Should I just hold it in reserve until I know what to do with it? Or what? Like I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I don't know what to do with that. Let's let's take a look at our codex here. Let's see if we can find something. Yeah, I'm making all these things. I'm making the iron ingots, of course, obviously, and then I'm turning them into plates, and then I'm turning them into rods, and I'm turning them into screws too. That's. I mean, we got the reinforced iron plates, but that needs to just. Well, I suppose we could hold that in reserve. For the five per minute. Let me see, is it five 
five per minute, which means one of these makes every 20 seconds, which means we need six times five per minute. Um, brain, brain, 30, 30 per minute. We need 30 per minute, which is one, which is actually one smelter. So yeah, that would work out. That would work out really nicely, actually. Except for the fact we also need screws for it at a rate of 12 times 5. Um, what's that? What would that be? That would be 50, 60. That'd be 60 per minute. So we'd need 60 screws per minute. Yeah. And a single thing of screws does not get us that. We'd have to overclock it to 150 to get 60 out of it. To get 60 a minute out of it. And if we did that, we'd be increasing that to 15 per minute, which would be a single... Which would be the total capacity of a single uh, thing making those. But that would leave half the capacity of a smelter unused. So, what would you do with that? Or what would you do with the other half of that capacity? I suppose... Oh, excuse me. I suppose you could underclock that smelter down to 50%. Because if you did that, then you'd actually be... Because the, the way the underclocking works... I, I don't know if it's considered to be a bug or if it's the way the game's supposed to work, um, but like when you underclock something to like 33%, rather than it using, say for example, it uses like 30 megawatts, which is ridiculously high. Nothing, I don't think anything in the game uses that much in a single go. Um, but if you clock it, underclock it to 33%, you'd expect that at that you'd wind up with something like. Um, 10 megawatts but the reality is you end up with something a lot closer to like 8 megawatts or something like that or no, no it's even less than that it's like 0.8, I don't know but all, all I know is that there was I was reading some math on it um, and how underclocking is actually really efficient in terms of power usage and like you can get yourself all the way up to tier 7 on biofuel burners on just biomass burners using underclocking it makes everything go really slow but you don't have to worry about power so much and it makes it a lot easier to to manage so we've mostly just been burning time here for the uh concrete factory to have time to make us some some concrete so we can get this milestone and we're going to see what we need to get ourselves a functioning chainsaw. Oh, did I just get myself stuck? I just got myself stuck, didn't I? Ah, crouching for the win. Thank God. That would have sucked. Well, it wouldn't have been too bad. I could have just uh, hit, the, hit the respawn button right there and, and called it... Called it a day there. Well, not... You know what I mean. Not called it a day as in... You know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. How, do, how am I supposed to expect you guys to know what I'm saying when I don't know what I'm saying? in and punch that button milestone reach biofuel will ensure maximum efficiency of biomass burners to aid in biofuel it's production like what, you uh, are capable of removing foliage like that consists of primarily of wood additionally R&D like inflated your pocket face. dimension Okay. Ooh, 
gotta we gotta top up our biomass burners here, boy. Good. Okay. It suddenly just occurred to me that this entire time I have not built a equipment workshop. But now I need to. Because I need to make a chainsaw. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to take all day with that. Chainsaw, what do I need? What am I missing? I need one reinforced iron plate and lots of screws. So my footprints don't fade because of time. coming down. That's so cool. It's just so cool. What the hell is that? Weird ass looking thing. Ta-da! And we have ourselves a chainsaw, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, excuse me. I think we are just about ready to call it here. Literally all I'm wanting to do at this point is get myself set up with a uh, biofuel assembly line here. leaves because that's what I predominantly have the most of at the moment and then solid biofuel and then I'm gonna have to go on a bit of a hunting spree for leaves just to get it up and running
I love how this place has thick enough uh, foliage that I can literally just run through it pretty much at random and pick up and just spam E. I was really hoping I could hold E, but now I gotta spam it. Which is gonna make my index finger hurt, but you know. We all have our sacrifices to make. Mine is a painful index finger. Enough. Nah, keep going. Some of you out there might be thinking, well, she said she was going to cut it off at Chainsaw got her chainsaw, why is she not cutting it off? Because, because, as you may recall, I said a functional chainsaw. And let's see here. Is this chainsaw functional yet? Is this chainsaw functional? No. No, it is not. Because it has no fuel. Does it run? Can I cut anything with it? Can I, in fact, saw the chain? Or chain the saw? I don't know. Either way, I can't do it. Which means it's not functional. Which means we're not done yet. So you guys are stuck with me for another couple of minutes. Because now we have biofuel. Solid biofuel. Now. Bum 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 bum. It's functional. Yeah. Yeah. Three hundred CCs. Gas. Challenging me to a manliness battle? Rhett and Link are pretty, is pretty cool. They're, they're, they're pretty cool dudes. I like them. Good Mythical Morning is, is, is a good show, too. They're, they're, they're good. Personally, I'm, I'm most fond of Song Biscuits. Those are good. My favorite one is uh, Hopelessly Optimistic Flightless Bird. That's, that's my favorite one. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Here we see the bearded cardinal in his native habitat. Welcome to the Walmart parking lot. Alright, so, I think that about wraps it up for today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think we will go ahead and make this a regular Sunday morning fixture. Um, the other things on the schedule might mix up a little bit. Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing super hot again this, uh, this Friday. Uh, we, might, uh, we might switch that up. Um, do, uh, might do some Among Us on Friday. Um, and then we're going to do something else on... Uh, on Saturday night, uh, we're also moving, going to be moving the uh, the scheduled time for Saturday night a little earlier in the evening, um, because uh, well, I ran into some issues, hence all the yawning, um, because you know I was up until almost two in the morning, because um, after I finished up with the stream, I was I was still going for about an hour afterwards. Uh, so, yeah, I'd like to have a little bit more sleep than, like, four hours. Um, but, all in all, it went pretty well, I think, um, for, for our first major week of, of, like, major consistent streaming. We did pretty well. We got three followers. Um, 
I'm hoping that uh, by the end of December we can hit 20. Let's let's say 20. Con conservative. We're go we're gonna stay on the conservative side. We're we're gonna set ourselves some realistic goals here. 20 followers by the end of the year. We've got a month to do it. Let's see if we can get it done. Only 17 more to go. Let's see if we can get it done. Um. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see where we get, and, uh, well, we're going to call this one here. Uh, let's see here, what, what, what should we name our save? We should name our save, I know. Uh, let's see here. There we go, here we go, shoot for 20. All right, save it. All right, and once again, I bid you all a fun Sunday morning, and I will see you guys next time.